Welcome, dear parents and my dear children, to the Common Error Workshop organized by Divya Jyot School. The subject is mathematics. Here we have gathered to rectify the error commonly done by children in the subject mathematics. Number names. In place value, while writing number names, they write incorrect spellings. For example, N-I-N-T-Y, they write N-I-N-T-Y for 90. They have to write N-I-N-E-T-Y, N-I-N-E-T-Y, which is the correct spelling. Again, 40, they write F-O-U-R-T-Y, which is wrong. They have to write F-O-R-T-Y. Now, another number, 14. For that, they write F-O-R-T-E-E-N. This is wrong. They have to write F-O-U-R-T-E-E-N. In place value, when it comes to expansion, they don't write the answer correctly. When we have given to expand the number 457, they tend to write 400 plus 50 plus 7, which is wrong. They have to write 400 plus 5 tens plus 7 ones. This is the right way to give the answer. 768. Let's take the next example. 768. Here they write 700 plus 60 plus 8. This is wrong. They have to write 7 hundreds plus 6 tens plus 8 ones. This is the right way of answering the question. The second mistake that they make in place value is when 0 is in tens place or ones place, they get confused. For example, if the number is 7, 107, they tend to write 100 plus 7. But you can see that the 7 is in the 1's place. So they have to actually write 100 plus 7. This is correct. 170. Let's do the next example. Here they write 100 plus 7. Actually, it should be 100 plus 7. 70. Increasing and decreasing order. They get confused when the number starts with a similar digit. For example, if they have to arrange the numbers in increasing order, the question being 357, 375, 300, 329, they tend to write 329, 375, 357, and lastly, 300. Actually, the correct answer is 300, 329, 357, and 375. Sometimes they get confused even between increasing and decreasing. Increasing means smallest to the biggest and decreasing means biggest to the smallest. Let's take an example. If they have to arrange the numbers in an increasing order, they tend to write, let's take a question, 253, 123, 625, 321. They tend to write 625, 321, 253, 123. Here, they are getting confused in which order they have to write. So they have to remember increasing means from small to big. So here, the first number will be 123, 253, 321, and lastly, 625. 
Well, writing before and after numbers. When zero is in the units place or when zero is in both units and tens place, they tend to make mistakes. For example, if they have to write the before number for 380, they tend to write 370, which is wrong. The correct answer is 379. They have to be told that they have to give a before number for 380. So let them remember the number 80 in their mind and one less than 80, which is 79. Similarly, where they have to write an after number, the question being 500. So they have to write the after number for 500. They tend to write 600, which is wrong. Here there are two zeros, mind you. So here they tend to write, they just see the five digit over here and write 600, which is wrong. They have to write 499. The number, sorry, not 499, the number after 500 is 501 and before number is 499. Addition. In addition, students get confused when writing numbers in the correct place. For example, the question 10 plus 7. Here, they write 1 in the tens place and zero in the ones place, which is right. But then the digit seven, they place it wrongly in the tens place instead of writing it here in the ones place. So what answer do they get? Zero plus zero, zero over here, and one plus seven, eight, which is wrong. They have to place the seven in the ones place, like placed over here. They have to place it in the ones place. So when they add the number zero plus seven, seven and one plus zero, that is one. So the answer for 10 plus seven is 17. Again in addition, when they are performing addition, students generally tend to forget to add the number which they have carried. For example, the question 25 plus 36. Here, they tend to add 5 plus 6, 1, and they carry 1 over here. They do carry 1 over here. But while adding, they just add 2 plus 3 and make, make it 5 which is wrong. They have to remember that they have carried a one over here. They have carried a one here. So while adding, they have to add one plus two, three, three plus three, six. So the answer is not 51, but 61. Subtraction. By subtracting, students don't borrow or regroup numbers. They just subtract the bigger ones with the smaller ones. For example, 81 minus 69. Here, they just subtract 9 minus 1 and write 8 over here. This is wrong. They have to actually borrow 110 from the 8. They have to scratch the 8 write 7, scratch the 1 like this and write 10 plus 1, 11 and then subtract 11 minus 9 which is 2 and 7 minus 6 which is 1. The answer is 12 and not 28. In subtraction again, while subtracting, Students forget to reduce the tens by one if they have borrowed or regrouped the tens. For example, let us take 43 minus 36. Here, 43 
minus 76. Here, they strike off the 3 and write 13 here. And 13 minus 6 is 7, which is correct. But here, they have forgotten to strike off the 4 and write 3. So what do they do? They, write, they subtract 4 minus 3 and write 1, which is wrong. Actually, they have to strike off the 4, write 3 on the top, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So the correct answer is 7 and not 17. understood the mistakes committed by the students and help them rectify and write the correct answers. Thank you.